the uh, National Insurance Entrepreneur just named them the Entrepreneur of the Year. They received the award today, and I'm proud and honored to introduce Bob Frady of Hazard Hub. Uh, Bob comes all the way from Orange County, California. Uh, the folks at Hazard Hub are the only third-party generation provider of property-level hazard risk databases. Their team of scientists, otherwise known as actuaries in, this, in Hartford, <laughs> uh, translates geospatial digital data into easy to interpret outcomes to create better risk assessments for the industry. So, thank you, Bob. Thank you very much, everybody. Listen, there's a lot of fancy technology here. It's very sexy, it's very beautiful. That's not us. We're boring. We're a data company. People are worried about AI, I'm worried about where the hydrant's located. That's the kind of stuff that we do. The very short version of what we do, CoreLogic and I also had a baby. The baby is very beautiful and well behaved. That's hazard hub. Here's what we're seeing. The industry is starved for actionable third party data. Because you don't have it or because it's expensive to get, you end up writing a lot of policies that are bad. Either you're surprised by risks or you're not aware of the risk ever happening in the first place. Why does that happen? Because current providers make it difficult to use this data. That's the last thing we want to do. Uh, so as a result, insurance companies view this data as an expense and not an investment. And so they rely on people. They rely on agents, they rely on the insured, they rely on back office people to try to infill this data. As a result, 30% of policies contain errors. With some of the people we talk to, they're like, Bob, you're being nice, it's 50%. Um, and so you end up with billions of unexpected losses. $143 billion of cat losses last year in the US and it's way easier to just hope for better weather. Here's what we do. We generate massive amounts of data. We have created the giant geospatial database in the sky. Six major categories. Air, water, fire, earth, man-made and property. And yes, earth, wind, and fire is our favorite band. We not only collect the data, but we model the data as well. We are the data creators for most of our data. Over 400 hazard risk elements and 75 property characteristics data. And the thing is, you don't have to pay to look at it. You only pay when you're successful and you bind a policy. We have a lot of unique data. I could, I could spend all day on this, and I think I have most of the day today. But a couple of things. Wildfire in California, $10 billion from one fire last year. We have the best wildfire model available. For those of you in the commercial lines, Underground storage tanks. We have the only national database of underground storage tanks. More than 600,000 locations, more than 2 million storage tanks. Because we build data, that's what we do. Here's our data in action. This is an address in Escondido, California. Now what we're going to show you is something you can have today. You type in an address and what does it tell me about that property? I can tell you it's 1.1 miles from the fire station. I can tell you the fire station name, I can tell you the staffing, I can tell you the protection zone. You're less than 250 feet from a hydrant. In fact, there's 18 hydrants around this location. AAIS fire protection class is P2, 13 and a half miles from the coast, and we coded this at the rooftop. Well, what about the risks? There's always risks around the house. For this location, it's a wildfire zone. It was in a wildfire perimeter in 2007. There's some earthquake risk as well as nuclear site and underground site proximity. I can tell you things about the property itself. Hundreds of, excuse me, dozens of data elements. It's a condo, there's two cars, it's four bedrooms, it's two baths, built in 83, 2,100 square feet. Two owners on there, they happen to be the co-founders of the company. Stucco on the outside, it's got a driveway, it's got a tile roof, it's connected to a sewer system. Uh, it's Spanish Mediterranean, it's got central air, fireplace, heating, two stories, meter on property with a gas water heater, it last sold for $605,000. And we have 24 total images available for this property. For carriers, it's simple. You pay us on the bind. If you want to run your book, it's a very small cost. If you're a partner and you want to put this into an AI machine, which is a great use of the data, then we figure out how it works for you. We don't want the deal to stand in the way of the deal. We generate data. This is what we do. Whenever a customer approaches us with a problem, we say, how can we do this better? Our enhanced wildfire model just launched hands down the best wildfire model in the industry. We had a discussion about meth labs. And we ended up, because we watched too much Breaking Bad. And I'm like, we can build a database out of that stuff. And so we did. 
and it will be released this month. It's the clandestine drug lab database. We will we will fill this out with actual local level of drug lab databases as well. An econometric hail model is upcoming in Q1 because a piece of hail that falls in the Connecticut River is not nearly as damaging as one that falls on your car. How do we know the industry is starving? How can you make a statement like that? This is our website traffic. We give away three things for free on our website. This is the Coast Fire Station and Hydrant. We had 932 visitors at the beginning of the year. We launched the service in April. We had almost 13,000 visitors last month. We've done more than 70,000 free lookups. And where are those people coming from? Here's a list of the companies off of our HubSpot report. <laughs> you may recognize your name up here. Your people are looking for this data. They're starving for this data and the system is broken and we're here to fix it. We've done this before. We built most of CoreLogic's data. We're Hazard Hub. Thank you very much. Great job. Great job.